How's it? You guys know what's up? It's your boy ISO back again with another ROG Ally X. One week review, impressions, whatever you want to call it, we're going to go ahead and talk about it. Okay, so first off, we're going to talk about the actual looks of the device. I got to say, this, this handheld looks awesome. I think they did a lot better by changing it to black. I know I mentioned in previous videos, if you guys saw my live stream, I think the way this device looks absolutely clean you got the rgb you can change the colors you got windows and i mean it looks clean i think it's a great look for it the ally x looks way better than the normal rog ally and speaking of windows oh my god that is the absolute worst thing about this device i bought this on i think tuesday so it's about to be a week right and what happened was setting windows up don't, don't expect to even even use this for like the next two three hours all dependent on your internet because you have to update Armory Crate, you have to update my Asus, you have to update Windows. There's, there's a lot of stuff you have to update and guess what as someone who's new to the device I was like okay I know I have to update Windows and update Armory Crate. I spoke to my dude Dot Dark one eight five. there's levels of layers to this. He was like oh don't forget about the my Asus app too and I'm like there's another thing I have to update that I knew nothing about so the, the initial setup of this device is is terrible, okay? I, I think it sucks, it is the worst part about this, but once you get it set up, oh my, it's not that bad. It's just it's just a setup, it's, it's, it's atrocious. Real quick, I hope you guys are enjoying the video, and if you are, please like, maybe subscribe if you guys are new, drop down a comment what I can do to improve the videos in the future, or whatever questions you have with the ROG Ally X, but let's get back to the video. All right, so I got Windows set up, I was ready to go, the next problem I was having was learning how to use a handheld device with Windows, right? Because I'm like, I don't want to touch the screen. Because if you keep touching the screen, you get fingerprints on it. It's annoying. It sucks. And you got to grab your shirt. You got to wipe it. It is what it is, right? But I found myself having a hard time because I didn't understand, like, okay, how how do I do this? Like, on a do I keep touching the screen? Isn't there shortcuts? It's very frustrating to do because I don't understand how the device works. I know it's a Windows device, but it's like... How can I make it where everything is just a fluid thing? Like you're just doing everything, no problem, right? And so I, I was having a lot of trouble in the beginning. And shout out to my dude, Dr. Dark one and five. He let me know about the shortcuts. So if you guys don't know, there is shortcuts that you can use. You press these back buttons here. And so for example, if you press the back button up, it pops the keyboard out. One of the issues I was having is sometimes when I wanted to type something in, the keyboard would not pop up. I have no idea why. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So thankfully now I know about the shortcut I get it to pop up and that was kind of an issue I was having. It was very annoying. Another one is if I'm in the game and I want to go back to the, um, you know, the desktop, right? Without closing the game, how do I do that? And I learned you can either press uh, the back button, right? Or left and it'll take you to the desktop or press it to the right. And then you can see the other tabs that you have. That was really convenient. Once I got to learn more about those, it made using the device so much easier. And of course, understanding uh, your, you know, your command center, understanding what Armory Crate does. Once I have a better idea of what those did, it made using the device so much better. Like it was very, very frustrating, maybe for a first like few to couple days, if anything. But once you really learn how to use it, everything was a lot more fluid. Oh, if you guys didn't know, if you press the back button down, it brings up the task manager. Um, other than that, it was those, again, shout out to Dr. one eight five because I did not know about those things. And if he didn't tell me, I probably would have been still frustrated to this day or looking at videos on how to use the device. Just so much more easier, right? All right, so, so all the bad stuff is out the way. That was the main annoyances I had with this device. Now let's get to the games. I bought this for the games, like I'm sure many of other people did too. And I gotta say, this device is running the games I wanna play again. Indies, double A's, maybe some triple A games has been absolutely amazing. I have a bunch of games on here. I'm not gonna name all of them. You guys can see it there if you want. But a lot of the games I mainly been playing Assassin's Creed Mirage, I mean, that's like a triple A game. 60 frames per second. I love the customization. I can go from 120 Hertz, 1080p, go down 900p. I mean, it's basically like a mini PC, right? That's essentially what it is with Windows 11. It's a handheld gaming PC. And I gotta say, I'm extremely impressed, very happy with it. Um, I really can't complain, you know, like if I want to play more, you know, games that demand more, I have my gaming PC for that. So what this device can do, I love the fact that I can connect to the Game Pass and to other launchers. I know you can do it on the Steam Deck too, and that's the device I'm coming from. It's it's so different though. It's just so fluid. It's easy. It's just once you're past the initial setup for it, 
it's it's kind of it's it's it seems crazy in the beginning it really does but i am extremely happy with this device and i can't wait to share with you guys more as i continue to use it but as far as week one goes super annoying to set up games play amazing once you get situated and once you learn how to device everything is just so much more fluid is it perfect no windows 11 on this thing does act finicky sometimes it acts super weird and the battery life is pretty good i mean of course it all depends on the game I think Assassin's Creed Mirage, I can easily play for like two to three hours, 900p, medium settings, 60 frames per second. So, you know, there's a lot of adjustment there, but that's what this device can do. You can make those type of, of adjustments if you want. So it's pretty dope. But guys, let me know what you guys think. If you appreciate the video, again, like, subscribe if you guys are new. I'll catch you guys in the next one for week two. All right, shoots.